Expensify tutorial for beginners. How to use Expensify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Expensify. Expensify is a tool that allows you to manage expenses, whether you are looking to manage your individual finances or if you're looking to manage expenses with your team. Expensify has really simple solutions for all of your needs. So let's get started with Expensify. To get started, head on over to Expensify.com and you're going to put in your email address over here. Once you do that, click on continue to sign up. Now, once you do that, you're just going to click on join. And just like that, you can now join Expensify. Now on Expensify, they are going to ask you what you would like to do. So, you know, what's your main purpose? I think I want to manage my team's expenses. And we're going to enter our business name. Then we're going to enter our first name and then our last name. Then you're just going to click on continue. And this is what Expensify looks like. The best part about using Expensify is that unlike other complicated financial management tools, they utilize a really simple interface. So anyone can actually use the interface and anyone can actually easily be able to track and manage expenses, split them with their team, split them with friends, all while being on a user-friendly platform. So to get started with Expensify, you will see on the left you have a concierge. This concierge just helps you in uh, setting up your Expensify account. Then you have a personal space to track your expenses and assign tasks. Then you have your space for your business. Then on the bottom, you will have a expenses section, a chats and invoices and trips section. Then you have your account settings over here. So the first thing I like to do is I like to go into the search tab and you will see in your expenses, you have different tabs, such as draft, outstanding expenses, approved and paid expenses. Then you have different chats, invoices, and then trips. We're going to go back into our inbox and we're going to get started with personal financial management. So in your tab that is the same name as your name, you're going to click on this plus icon. This allows you to track expenses, assign tasks, and add attachments. Click on track expense over here and you have a few different options. You have the option to manually add an expense like this or you can scan a receipt. Scanning receipts can make it really easy for you to, you know, put in all of your info where your money is actually going. Then you also have distance. So if you traveled from one place to another, then you can add that distance over here to track your fuel expenses. For us, let's say I want to do some manual expense tracking and I'll just click on next. And then you're going to add a description on what this was for. So let's say this was groceries. And then I'm just going to click on save. We can click on show more. We can add the merchant. So wherever you spent your money on, you can add that as well. And then the date. Click on track expense and you're just going to add that expense over here. Once you do that, the concierge will ask you what you want to do it. We'll do with this expense. If you want to submit this to someone, if you want to categorize it, if you want to share it with your accountant or nothing for now. Let's say I want to categorize this. So currently I only have one workspace, so I don't need to, you know, add it anywhere else. But I want to do nothing for now. Then after that, I can click on this icon again and I can assign a task. So let's say that I have to refuel my car. And then I'm going to add a assignee, which is going to be me. Then I can add a description, but this is really obvious. So I can just confirm this task. What this allows you to do is that when you have a simple tab where you can just chat with yourself and categorize and add expenses, you're able to know what you're supposed to do, how much money is going where, and where did your money go throughout the weeks. Now on the left, if you go into your workspace tab, you have different features. You can see over here, you have the option to click on create and you can either split expenses, submit expenses, track them, assign tasks or add attachments. Splitting expenses can be a great way for you to ensure that whenever you're going out with friends or, or your employers, you're able to spend money according, in accordance with your actual spending budgets. 
So let's say there is a thousand dollar expense and then we can add you know the receipt for that as well adding receipts again i highly do recommend that you can click on choose file over here and upload your receipt over here uh this definitely is the preferred way but i'm doing this as an example so i'm just adding random expenses manually click on next over here and you're going to add the description so let's say this was a business dinner and then just click on save then you're going to select the merchant. So let's hit Nobu and then click on save. And you're going to click on show more. So we have our date. Let's say our business dinner happened on Monday. And I'm just going to click on save. Then I'm going to click on split this much. Now, after that, this will show you how much the business owes you. So how much you're splitting with this business. You guys can see that I only added two participants. So if you have other participants, you can add the members here. So you can click on invite member and I can add a member over here like this. And then I can just click on invite member. And once I do that, once this person joins, then the money would be split equally between three people. Now, other than that, you also have some other features on the Expensify application, including submitting expenses. So if your company is meant to pay for something, so you can, you know, um, select any address. Let's say it's the international airport. And then let's say we went to Scarborough. So we have the simple trip and I'll click on add. Then we are going to add the amount to how much it would cost. And then below that, it shows us the distance and the rate. So whatever rate fuel is costing, that's going to be added here. If this is not accurate, you can update your location setting so it's accurate to the uh, you know amount that you spent. And then you can choose the category, the car, that this is a car payment, and then you're going to click on submit over here. Then this will be submitted to your business to, so you can get paid. And your employees can pretty much do the same thing. They can submit their expenses in the, in the business tab so the business knows what it owes to its employees. Now, you even have a quick access bar, so you can click on create on the bottom. And you can go on ahead and start a chat, track expenses, and do much more with the, with the Expensify application. Now, if you want to just add tasks in your business application or business tab, you can click on add attachment over here and add any random attachment. So, you know, let's say this is our attachment we're adding. We can just add that over here. If we want to assign a task, we can add a task. So let's say it is going to be to repurchase coffee pods. And then I can just click on next. Once I click on next, I can choose a description as well as an assignee who is meant to do this. And then just click on confirm task. And just like that, this helps you in general financial management of your business. You know, if you were to do all of these tasks on your own, this could be really difficult to manage. And you will see that whenever you have tasks created, you can go into the search tab now and you're going to be able to see all of your expenses, any of the outstanding paid or approved ones, then any of your chats, as well as any invoices related to you, as well as any trips that are related. You can click on book a trip over here and you can book a trip and then submit that as an expense to your business as well, all on Expensify. And you have your account settings where you can click on wallet on the left, click on enable wallet to connect your bank account to Expensify. This allows you to streamline your finances and get payments directly into your bank account from Expensify. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.